Ladies and gentlemen, it's the day after the World Challenge 2017 and we are back to good old NSL TV technology. <laughs> Sorry for that. But other than that, the, uh, the guests are just as relevant and as exciting as before. And this time we have um, one of the many teams in Belgium now, Jetmax, Ludovic, Steven, Julie and uh, Simon. Yeah, where is she actually? We also have, a, we also have the coach here. There she is, Maya. <laughs> Hello, Maya. Ludovic. Tell us a little bit about Jetmax, the history of it. Well, the history of Jetmax dates back, I think, three or three and a half years ago. And Steven was quite brand new to the sport and out of the blue decided to create a team. How new? I don't know, you were what? You had like 50 jumps or 80 jumps, something like this. So, uh, and it was on the occasion of the uh, ESL that was in Belgium, I think, at that time. And there was a first lineup which did not continue. Then I joined two and a half years ago, two years ago. Then uh, Simon joined a year, no, two years ago with Steve. And we just uh, lost Steve. And hello, Steve. And uh, we replaced Steve uh, by Julie, uh, who was competing for Les Stunt, the Belgian female team. And uh, as they stopped, Julie was kind enough to join us with her experience. So actually, she she has ten times more jumps than all of us together. So, <laughs> and uh, you also have a very famous uh, teammate now uh, who also joined a new team. Tell us a little bit about Les Stunts and your relationship with your coach. It's my peace partner. We were actually yes in uh, the stunts. And um, I'm uh, very happy uh, that she's uh, our coach now because uh, she, she won the best. She's a perfectionist. And I think it's, um, it's gonna, uh, um, I don't know, <laughs> develop uh, our team uh, a lot, uh, the, the skills of our team. That is, we're talking about Maya van Kampenhut, who is now um, a member of ISR uh, Flash, uh, Fire Flash and also of, the f of that incredible eight-way team, uh, Fly-In Machine 444, that's Maya, and uh, she is coaching the team. Um, uh, Les Stanz uh, stopped uh, at the end of last year. Sorry? Um, Les Stanz uh, said we're not going to go any. Yeah, because uh, one of our teammates uh, is pregnant now. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good excuse, actually. <laughs> so uh, she told us uh, last year I want a child and then uh, we have to, uh, to find another teammate. And it was very hard to find it because uh, there, isn't a little, there isn't a lot of girls uh, with the same level in Belgium. And then uh, yeah, we uh, decided to stop. New team, new category. It's uh, you entered the uh, AAA class this year, the complete IPC dive pool now with memory and such switches and 10, 22 blocks. Um, tell us a little bit about the um, the history as of categories for Jetmax. Uh, Stephen, how about you? Uh, we started in rookie, and then we moved on uh, each category. But for her, it's not new. She always did AAA. <laughs> But uh, it's, it's very hard in the beginning, but we're going to get used to very fast. And that is your second AAA class competition this year. You attended the Wind Games already, right? Yeah, but we kind of cheated a bit because at that time Julie was not with us, so we took Maya with us. So, so yes, it was our first uh, AAA experience, thank God, with Maya. It was not a too difficult draw. So we managed a good average and it was good to, to feel the competition in AAA, which is rather different from, from AA, or single A rookie indeed, uh, yes. That was an 18 average uh, at the Wind Games and here with your new and the original lineup now, and that was with Maya, here you have a 17.7, so that is same level, I would say. How was your competition here at the World Challenge, Simon? Are, are you happy with, with your meet here? Uh, th this competition? Yeah, this yes, yes, uh, I'm uh, happy to, uh, to, to lead uh, this, uh, this competition. And um, how can I say that? Um, 
What are your plans from here on? What is the next competition? The next competition, I think uh, it will be a Belgian championship. Yeah. So you're going to outdoor competition? Yeah, yes. We will train now. Uh, we will slow down a bit on indoor training. We train normally half an hour every week. So now we will slow down a bit on this and uh, we will jump more outside to prepare for the Belgian Outdoor Championship and of course the World Cup in Germany, in Saint Louis, and then we'll move on to the ESL. Yeah. It's a very nice, sounds like a lot of fun this year coming. And um, uh, you also, uh, we, we chatted a little bit earlier today, um, you have all those wind tunnels around and you're gonna still keep low a little bit now, slow down a little bit, or are you con gonna continue indoor training? Tell us a little bit about your India tunnel situation in Belgium. Steven. <laughs> there are um, too many tunnels. It's, it's, <laughs> it's great, it's great for us. We can choose, uh, but we, we, go, we are in airspace, so we, we, we fly in airspace, we train in airspace. It's the closest and for us it's the best tunnel. And they help us a lot uh, for the coaching and it's our sponsor also. On the, here so but yeah sometimes before Bedford we went to fly in because Bedford is bigger so we went to bigger tunnel to see how it was and uh, yeah we are very lucky with that What's your thumb? No. Yeah. ah this it's block one block <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay it's, uh, what happened? I, uh, I went for her legs and uh, her knee I hit my, my thumb on the knee and say clack it's like a rock huh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. She's too tough with me. She's too tough. <laughs> okay, Jetmax, you must be proud of being a part of the Belgian formation skydiving community by now because Belgium is really becoming a powerhouse. How does it feel to be a part of the Belgian competition um, community now? Julie? We feel very lucky. It's a very um, a, a chance for us to uh, to have uh, uh, people available uh, like uh, like uh, Maya, uh, the uh, Sven Evans, uh, Wesley. Uh, we have great team, and uh, it's yeah, it's easier than the other team. Do you have the feeling it keeps growing and there's really some momentum now? Yeah, it's, it's really strange because on the one hand, uh, it's true we have we have world class champions obviously in Belgium, and as as Julie was saying, it's it's almost a close family now. Um, on the other hand, Belgium remains a small country, so we lack jumpers, obviously. Uh, it's not easy. We have good drop zones, but um, people tend to go more towards free, free fly most of the time. So we're trying now to develop all of us uh, in all the drop zones to develop a bit more uh, belly flying. And uh, yeah, there are some new youngsters coming up and uh, new teams today. They're, during the competition, there were two brand new FS4 rookie teams, they perform very well, I think third and fourth in the rookie category. So yes, here we go. Yeah. And look into that too, you know, the other Belgian teams which are coming. Um, are, the, are the Hayabusa guys kind of your role models? Are you, you know, trying to copy them? Copy? Yeah, I mean, we have, we love Hayabusa. I mean, they are, they are true champs in the sense that they are the best and they are the nicest people and they are always here to help but it's true that when we were you rookie single a and double a now triple a we always looked at at thunder as a very yeah they are the wise guys of the sport and and they are Hayabusa is it's Sven, the, let's 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 call it out let's let's call him out it's when he's the godfather in yes, this of course and he, he's a lovely guy and and he helped us I remember Sven helping me here in this tunnel two, three years ago when I was just a, a very bad rookie flyer and him helping me to, to, to be better and just like that because he's, he's a nice guy. Thank you Sven Thank you. for all that. <laughs> okay, well I know you still have to cross the channel uh, from England to Europe today and have a, not, a little bit shorter way home than I have. but. Um, you still have to make it. Thank you very much for taking the time. Good luck and I will hopefully or most likely see you at the later events in Saint Louis and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.